and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm just uh, outlining the kind of strange circumstances that surround my fire. So here are the videos that I was making right before the fire. This video was literally like, I believe, the day before the fire, yeah, June 30th. So this was the actual, the actual day before the fire, okay? So I was making some uh, videos uh, that uh, might have, where we go, might have been, um, you know, winding somebody up or something, you know? Okay, so now this is really strange. This is my subscribers. Is up here and we hit lifetime. And now we look at this lifetime of getting subscribers, right? Right here. <laughs> right there. Boy, that's weird, isn't it? There's the highest high and the highest low right next to each other. Huh, I wonder when that is. Let's see here. I'll go in to custom and I'll put in 19 and 20. I think that'll get me there. Okay, so two days, <clears throat> excuse me, before the fire, I had 15 people subscribe to my channel. That's really weird. Okay, and then the very next day, seven people unsubscribed. And then the very next day, I have a fire. Okay, now, since the fire, I had a neighbor ask for a ride. And during the ride to go pick up his vehicle, he said that the cops had come out to bust him. And when they were busting him, they pointed out my property and told the guy that they were in the process of busting that I was, quote unquote, a big deal. Okay, so my fire was very suspicious in the fact that I had been doing the exact same thing for about six months or so. And... The fire started in the generator shack, but it started on a wall that wasn't where the exhaust was even blowing. So, and, and the fire put out the generator. So the generator was running and running and running, and then the fire finally consumed the generator. So the generator didn't like catch fire and start the fire. The fire started and put the generator out. So then when I was in the process of cleaning up the fire, my property was being uh, vandalized and uh, he, I suspected arson right after that. And I have got nothing but more evidence that it was arson ever since. And then there was another fire right next door. And the odd situation surrounding that was I was the only person around. And fortunately, oh, excuse me, at home. And fortunately for myself, 
another neighbor's little cart was broken down right at the fire. So I had a fire. One cop showed up to my fire. I fought another fire out here on some other people's property with my backhoe, and no cops showed up to that fire. The fire right next door to my house, there was four cops, and they were all over me, pretty much insinuating like I was the person that started that fire. Well, fortunately for me, there was my neighbor was standing right there, and so it was obvious that I wasn't there because he saw me come running out of my area and take the forks off my backhoe, jump in my backhoe, start it up, run through the fence. I mean, he was standing there watching the whole thing. So I think that second fire was by the same person, but this time the attempt, because obviously they tried burning me out, they tried killing me with the fire and it didn't work, or running me off with the fire and it didn't work. So then their next mission was to try to frame me for an arson fire. Okay, so that's two attempts uh, by uh, somebody in uh, less than two years. Two fires right next door to each other in less than two years. Both fire suspicious. So I'm putting this out here because... I actually tried to make a video like this before I even had as much evidence as I do right now, but suspiciously my capture program stopped capturing the audio and yeah, so I just couldn't get the video done because I made it and then the audio was all not there. So that was kind of weird. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I suspect arson. And, uh, yeah, I don't think they're done. So anyway, uh, have a good uh, day. Like, subscribe, and peace.